Did you know that with your Squarespace email address, you can create up to 30, 30 different email aliases? So basically, if you have signed up with Google Workspace through Squarespace, so you got a custom domain, you signed up in the back end of your Squarespace account um, for your email address, which has your, your custom domain connected to it, you can pay for one email address. So for instance, I have jen at nerdvillebyjm.com. That is my primary email address, but I can go into the back end of Google Workspace and I can create up to 30 different aliases. So I can have hello at nerdvillebyjm.com and accounting at nerdvillebyjm.com. You can create as many as you want to, and then you simply connect it to your Gmail account. Um, it's basically going to, you have a couple of different ways you can do it. The way I have mine set up right now is that all of the emails go into my Gmail account. So into that primary one, I see them all in the same place, but it tells me what email address they actually sent it to. And then when I hit reply back, it replies back from that email address. So it's going to be a really good way to kind of keep things separate and basically keep my private email that I, that I use, kind of keep that separate from the general public as well. Um, it helps me filter through things. So here's how you do that. When you're in the back end of your Google account, you just log into Gmail as usual. You have your Google apps, which are these nine little dots up here in the upper right hand corner. Click those, scroll down until you find admin. And when you get into admin, you're going to find your user. So here's my user account for me right here. And then you are going to see you have alternate emails over here on the left hand side. So if I say add alternate emails, I've got one already set up that's hello at nerdvillebyjm.com, so I can add another one. And so maybe this one will be support at nerdvillebyjm.com. Then I will save that. You need to add as many as you want, like I said. So I've got now I've got these two. Then you go back into your email, click those, or click the settings wheel this time. So we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go to see all settings. Then you are going to go to accounts and you'll see here that I've got send mail as, and I've got my um, Jennifer Maher, and then my office manager is my hello one. That's the one that I've already set up. So I can say I wanna add another email address here, and this one is going to be the support. Let me move this over the way. Oops. So this one is support at nerdville by jm.com, and I'm gonna make this one actually be, instead of the name of Jennifer Maher, it'll be support, then I say, and we want to make sure that we keep it as an alias. Say next step. And now I've got all three of these right here. So when someone sends me an email to support at Nerdville by JM, I will get it in my regular inbox for this email address. I'll get all three of these in, but it'll tell me if it came from support, hello, or Jen. Um, all of the different aliases that I have set up. And then when I hit reply, it is going to reply back to them. So that's where this part is. When replying to a message, you can have it always go from your default address, which is like my primary one. I don't want it to come that way. I want mine to reply from the, um, the same address that it was sent to. So if someone sends it to support, I want to reply back as support. So I've got mine toggled on this way, but that's it. How simple is that? And you can create as many as you want to. Um, Obviously, this is not like an individual personal account. So if you have a staff of like eight people, you wouldn't want all eight of them probably using the same email. But if you were doing like a general, if it was, okay, you could do one general email address with tons of different aliases if everyone was okay using the same account because you wanted to manage it. So it actually could be really, really beneficial if you were like managing a team, you could have a team email address that you only pay for one, but everyone logs into the same email system, but they're just looking for their own, like maybe they're, they're going into folders. So you've got like, you know, Marcy has her own and Bob has his own folder, whatever. So they're just looking for their own emails. That could be a possibility. Just a thought.